Hi, this is Bobby from Copel TV Repair. <clears throat> this is a video for a customer that sent a trio of uh, two buffer boards and a Y sustain board for 16 inch Vizio, uh, sorry, LG Plasma TV. Um, the problem was in the buffer boards and they're now repaired and working. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show some close ups uh, showcasing unique markings on the boards before showing the screen. So that the customer knows this is their boards and they're working fine. I will show also the screen. What else is unique? This GW here should be fine. This is probably the customer signature JL. If that is the case, there probably should be something similar on the sustain board as well. I don't see any. Oh, there it is. JL. That must be the customer's initials. And uh, this is the TV. This line here is, uh, as with all our videos showing functionality proof for those boards, are caused by multiple use of that connector here, which ended up being torn apart, and that's why it's taped with scotch. If I push it, some of the lines may disappear, or the whole thing may just bust up. Um, so, short of those, screen is fine, everything works. And the reason I make this video is we only did the buffer boards, but this board is known to fail. And if we don't do what to replace the components that tend to fail, it will fail. It's only, it's not a matter of whether, it's a matter of when. And um, we will not charge right now for repair of that board unless customer requests that we do preventive replacements of a bunch of components on it. Uh, but it will fail and we recently had a similar problem it can be found in our video searches where a customer inserted those cables improperly into their tv um, i'm going to make a quick reminder here that other customers there i believe we made two videos in a row we repaired whatever we repaired it was the similar situation buffer buffer was bad uh, we made a very similar video showing that everything was working customer got it uh, complained that at first there were lines and then the whole picture disappeared and they sent us the boards again and there was a problem in the Y sustain. Uh, the buffers that we fixed back then were still working fine and this is one of our previous video. I strongly suspect that something similar may happen here as well. What I want to show is how vital it is to insert those cables properly up here where you see those small tabs pull that properly you see this small rectangular opening here well there is a little ear and this has to go all the way in both sides so that when you close it this is how it looks on the top and on the bottom Achtung and repeater. Okay, so uh, if this is not ins inserted that way, evenly on both sides and all the way in, then there will be lines on the screen and other bad things may, may happen. This is all that I want to show. All of them has to be, of course, inserted properly. If you do have horizontal lines, this is the problem. It's not being inserted. Or if you're unlucky, that might be the problem. And again, this is something that is torn. There is no fixing here. Just when we were unplugging those, a uh, sharp fingernail or whatever, or those were very old and it just tore apart and cut through the first few lines here. If I press them in a particular way, they will make contact and we can get their lines fine, I think all but one. Uh, but that's pretty much at that cost. That is all. Thank you very much and uh, best of luck repairs.